If not replaced on time, that thing will make you sick, guys. It will give you headaches, it will give you sore throat, it will make you feel terrible. Check this thing out. You're breathing that. Stay with us and we will talk about that now. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a BMW 5 series guys. I'm talking about F10, F11 generation. If you have one of those and you need to remove or replace cabin air filter, we will explain why it's super important to do that. Most people will not do it on time and that can make you really sick. It can give you headaches, sore throat and you can feel terrible. Stay with us, we'll explain all that in this video today. Now, uh, before we start, uh, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage guys we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys want to see where to buy good quality cabin air filter parts tools at a really good price check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so what we have here specifically guys this is a pure flow HEPA cabin air filter this is a four layer filter that's our favorite guys that car actually comes with two cabin air filters we'll be we'll be replacing both the first one is HEPA high efficiency media then you have two uh, second and third layer is the activated charcoal baking uh, post baking soda for odors and antibacterial technology for mold and all that stuff it tells you what each one of those does so uh, silver and copper ions with proven long lasting uh, you can see effectiveness guys that's uh, that's amazing amazing filter so let's go ahead and explain what we need to do now so what do we have specifically here 2013 5 series that we'll be demonstrating on let's come this way now and show you what we need to do guys so i'm going to flip the camera this way okay let's see if we okay actually can clearly see the whole action perfect just like that so what we will need to do first okay before we start right here we actually need to come over here guys okay on the side and why because here now guys okay we will need to go ahead and remove that screw right here check this thing out this screw needs to come out okay we're taking it off now it's still tight i think let's see perfect and now this one will be loose on this side okay let's see what else we have here if we have any clips and stuff holding it here in case okay because otherwise okay we might not be no it doesn't come out here so now if you grab it guys let me show you now you grab it like that there is a couple of clips towards the top okay and it comes out now you can pull it all the way out if you want to or okay like that and i'll show you where the clips are give us a second okay right here we have two round clips one two <coughs> and you have one on the back that you actually guys slide towards the back towards the front okay so once you pull those things out you slide it towards the front and it comes out you can see and it's open here now so let's see oh excuse me that was the light what else we need to do here now guys so a few more things will need to be addressed okay let me just put the camera to where it's more visible okay perfect like okay i believe like this you can see the whole action we're going to start right here now by removing that bolt okay this is actually okay that's for the airbag here but i believe we'll need to remove it. the torx 30 let me see now 25 or 30 let's get one uh, one two that fits but right in front of it is actually a torx 20 so we're going to go ahead and remove that one now okay we'll remove this one i have one more that i need to remove okay tall it's here maybe sometime today it will work out 
I think somebody rounded that board actually. Let me focus a little bit on the action there. So you can see, perfect. This one, this board is rounded, guys. So. Okay, that's part of the airbag system. So we need to tell you something here, guys. Okay, this one is out now. Let's go ahead, okay, and do one more thing here. Perfect. Let's see if it's a 25 now for the other one or if it's Torx 30. 25, I think fits perfect. So we'll go ahead. Remove that bolt now. Okay, I might need to come upside down a little bit. To be able to see that bolt. Perfect. Pretty long bolt, also has thread locker on it. Now, we need to switch to this side. Okay, like that, and we're going to Remove that one here. You can see both with the blue thread locker, guys. Because it's part of the airbag, right? So you grab it now. And we're going to pull it out. Now, this is, guys, your airbag here. So. This guys is a little bit now, okay, tricky here because every time you remove airbags or airbag system, you're supposed to disconnect the car battery for at least one hour before repairs. If you're not qualified and certified to work on airbags, do not do that because if you do guys and you do something wrong, it can kill you. So uh, go ahead, disconnect the car battery, wait one hour and continue. We have a special video that explains which battery terminal to disconnect first. If you disconnect the wrong one, uh, or connect the wrong one, you can actually cause damage to the electrical system, modules, computers, and that can, guys, cost you thousands of dollars. So check out the video, which battery terminal to disconnect first. So we disconnected the car battery, guys, and we disconnected the airbag. I would not recommend to do that unless you're certified and qualified. Never use metal tools to pry. Uh, but that thing, you can see, has two clips. Okay, right here, practically, that. Okay, hold it in place, guys. Okay, that's the connector okay that's the uh, airbag uh, always guys store them face up so if they exploded on the metal piece doesn't fly in your face and kill you far away from you never uh, close to you it shouldn't be even in the car never touch it to any metal components as well because that can guys severely severely hurt you so you can see we remove these bolts now let's go ahead okay investigate okay what we have specifically here now uh, okay because here now we need to grab that piece okay let's video like that okay okay no 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 a little bit like that perfect we'll grab it and we we'll pull it towards the front it has a couple clips i believe metal piece okay down and pull it to the front here is what we have we have that's the wire for the airbag that goes right here let's just get everything ready here we have more wires this is for the flood flooding light here and this is for the cigarette lighter now in order to gain more room what we're going to do now i'm going to disconnect the cigarette lighter socket okay and this thing will be able okay let's just get this one out to flip it that way and if you come right here underneath, you're going to see all the different things that we have now. So we come underneath now and we're going to go ahead and remove one screw right here. Okay, one screw is out. Uh, let me see, we have one more over there. That's number two. Perfect. Now I think this is all of them that we need. 
to go ahead here on the back side it looks like we have something holding let me see if it's another screw yep one more screw guys hidden in a hole here so always a good idea to watch the video until the very end because otherwise you can severely damage things Okay, now we're going to grab that cover. Don't tell me there is another one. There is no way there is one more bolt here. And probably there is. Yep, yeah, one more. Four bolts, guys. Four screws. Holding in place. And that last one. will be a little bit tricky to get due to the fact that you need to use okay a shorter screwdriver or this one in an angle perfect it came out you can see all the dirt and dust falling here you gotta make sure okay that you vacuum everything make sure that this drain plug is open there too now we flip it a little bit this way and I'm going to start pulling the filters out and you'll see everything that falls out watch out now that's why you should change them on time guys okay one of them check out what's happening okay let's flip the camera this way let's show what we have on the floor already floor was like brand new clean that's inside we're breeding that stuff guys we're breeding that stuff that's filter number one filter number two now oh my goodness this is bad the filter fell apart it disintegrated check this thing out i don't even know what else it got there but it's something bad so we're going to go ahead vacuum and we'll continue so the airflow now in ours, okay the old ones used to be the airflow pointing towards the back of the, back, back of the car guys. So I'll go ahead okay, and install the uh, first one now. Okay let me see okay, which way it, it went exactly now. Okay not to break them right. One of them is in. Now we're working on the second one. Her floor flow pointing towards the back. And again, we're getting the second one now. And at that point, okay, the only thing that we need to do is install the cover. Okay, let me see with the seal and everything. Okay, get the screws tied and practically put everything in the reverse order. We took it apart. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.